There are five major files to worry about when configuring SMTPD. The most major one is smtpd.conf in slash etsy slash mail, and that's your main configuration file. But before you even touch that, you're going to want to generate certificates. The man page provides these two lines of commands. I know it looks like three, but it's really two. And they're going to allow you to create a private and public key pair to use with your mail server. If you already have an HTTP server, you might even be able to use the keys you've used for that. But anyway, it won't do any harm for you to, to make new keys. This first command, open SSL gen RSA dash out etsy ssl private mail dot example dot com dot key 4096 will make your private key mail dot example dot com should be replaced with your domain this next command open ssl rec dash new dash x509 dash key will request a new x509 key this one will serve as your public key Again, replace mail.example.com with your domain. Dash days 365 will be how long it will last for. I like to make a little note of when mine will expire, just in the config file, so I don't forget to upgrade my uh, certificate, and I know when it expires. After that, you'll do these two lines, just chmod 600, and then those two files that you just created. This will make it read and write to uh, uh, to root access, read and write for root, and no other user. No execute, nothing else. And that will make things pretty secure. Then, you'll want to specify those new keys that you created with PKI, your domain, certificate, and then Etsy slash SSL slash your domain dot cert, and the same thing with your key, PKI, your domain, key, Etsy slash SSL, private, your domain dot key. Just replace red dot life with whatever your domain is. Then, we can go to the next part. We do listen on, and then your internet card. LO0 is local, the local computer. LO0 is also known as the loopback card. It's not a real piece of hardware, it's just where the packets go within your local system. So if you're sending an email to a person on your local machine, it'll go through loopback. If you want to, ha to have local email work, then you want this line. And now there's listen on VIO0. VIO0 is just my internet card. You can see which internet you car card you have with if config, and then it'll say Ethernet somewhere below the listing. For me, it was VIO0. Since this is running on a virtual machine. Now this keyword secure is going to make outgoing emails be encrypted, but ingoing emails don't necessarily have to be. There are other options in all listed in the man page that will tell you what to do with other things. For example, never using encryption or requiring encryption to be used and just declining emails that don't have proper encryption, so on and so forth. And then PKI, your domain, will specify which key to use. There's only one, so it's an obvious choice here. Next, 
table aliases, file colon slash Etsy slash mail slash aliases, and the table virtuals one will map one uh, email to another. So, for example, uh, here in the upper right hand corner of the screen, I have my Etsy mail aliases file. Here, abuse will be mapped to root. So, any email you send to abuse will go to the email root. Any email you go to security will go to root. Any email you send to root will go to devmancer, which is my user. Any email you send to videos will go to devmancer. And that'll just make it so that all emails get funneled into that answer. So, I don't know, I can read them because that's my user. You can put whatever sort of mapping you want in your table, and that's how the emails will go. Aliases is for local emails or at least it's configured that way in my server uh, and this next file virtuals is for uh, emails coming in from the internet not from the local machine so if you send an email to deadmancer at dread.life or videos at dread.life it'll get sent to me at deadmancer you can send me an email at either of those addresses, and it'll work. Then, we're going to actually use those two tables. Except from local for local, we'll make local emails work. So if one user on your machine sends an email to another user on your machine, it will work and it will go through all the aliases in the table aliases and this is how you specify which table is for what the little uh, greater than less than thing here and then deliver to mbox will put all your emails in a little file on in your home directory called mbox and this a uh, little email client like mail or mutt can use directly I prefer mutt it's a bit better uh, if you want to set up imap or pop you're going to want to do deliver to lmtp instead or any of the other various options so you will need a much more complicated setup than this. Then, you, I have in my configuration file to accept emails from the internet. It says accept from any, which means from the internet, or even the local computer, for domain dread.life. So it will ignore emails that were sent to the wrong domain. and then it will use the table virtuals and again deliver to mbox now you could have uh, multiple domains or something else just with a more complicated configuration and then lastly we have outgoing emails except from local for any relay you could have a different configuration line to have outgoing emails works uh, ha to have outgoing emails work but that's the simplest thing that you can do I hope you enjoyed